Guys, welcome to GBC TV. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe and definitely hit that bell button to get notified. And leave your thoughts down in the comment section down below. You know, this is Serbia World Cup expectation. A realistic finish for Serbia at the 2018 World Cup. Serbia, this is their 12th appearance in the tournament. Nine as Yugoslavia, one as Serbia Montenegro, and you know, two as Serbia. They made it in 2010, got knocked out the group stages. In 2014, they didn't even qualify. 2018, they topped their group, you know, topping group D ahead of Wales to qualify for the World Cup. Serbia, you know, have a lot of positivity. They fly under the radar. Nobody seems to be talking about Serbia. And outside the top six, Serbia could actually beat any team. And on paper, they don't look outmatched by outside the top teams. You know, there's certain usual suspects, Spain, you know, Germany, this, that, and the third. So when Serbia make it to the round of 16 and give Germany a tough game, you'd be like, damn, GBC TV said so. You know, mark it down. Serbia have a lot of chance. They probably have like a 50% chance. I think they will make it out. You know, they have one of the, besides Brazil, all the other teams in that group, you know, Costa Rica, Switzerland, Brazil, not without beside Brazil, Costa Rica in Switzerland and Serbia have a chance to advance. And Serbia definitely look good. You know, it'll definitely be, there's a lot of negativity about Serbia too. That's just as much as positivity. But with Serbia, they got a lot of top quality players. You know, can they start gel in time and find that chemistry? One of the problems with Serbia is that Milenko Savic, one of their best central midfielders, playing for Lazio, everybody seems to take notice this year and being declared the next Pogba, but which I think he's at this current rate right now, he's playing better than Pogba and could have a higher ceiling than Pogba. Not saying Pogba doesn't have a higher ceiling. But Milenko is also linked to Manchester United, and he also got his teammate there, Matic, who played for Manchester United. And they got Tadic, who will be very instrumental to what they are doing. Tadic will be that staple, that glue to make the plays to give Mitrovic, a player who's playing for Newcastle United, couldn't get, you know, I mean, get on form, couldn't get going, went out on loan and scored, I think, 10 goals, 11 goals in 18 or 19 games. He's on fire. He'll need to continue that form that he's been on loan at. And the 28, at the 2018 World Cup for Serbia to actually have a chance. But Savic having been playing that well with his midfield duo, with the other midfield duo, Magic and other you know, and the others, because Savic just broke into the team at the past November. He wasn't even playing for the squad. He missed the 2014 World Cup. So let's see if that tandem can actually get going. But finish, make the, their manager as well. I haven't even coached or managed. A competitive game, let alone like a competitive in a competitive tournament, let alone a competitive game. So, and their backline contains of five players at the age of 32 years old or older. Kolo Rav, who left Manchester City on a high note, double salute, went to Roma, continuing his fine form. You know, he by uh, Ivanovic, who's he's a right back. You know, definitely old. I think he played as center back for Serbia, if I'm not mistaken. And the others, you know, that could be more than the liability than a sets because we know at the World Cup is going to be a lot of fast, pacey wingers. You know, we still have to see if these two could actually stay put and their fitness level is up there. But we've known Ivanovic and Korowa both got a goal in them. And going forward, they're great. They're great at doing that and defending as well. they team players. So Serbia definitely got a chance. Static will definitely be that staple to that team. You know, him and Matic, you know, and Savic as well. But... Static will need to be the playmaker to supply Mitrovic to actually score the goals. If Mitrovic don't get the service he need, he'll, you know, Serbia will definitely not make the group stages. But finishing, you know, second, we got Brazil to move on to the round of 16 to go face Germany, which I think that would be the matchup. I think Serbia have a chance to advance beyond the group stages and the group facing Costa Rica and Switzerland. It's yet to be seen what we're going to see out of Switzerland, but Switzerland definitely not a bad team. But guys... Definitely let me know what's a realistic finish for Serbia. What's your expectation for Serbia? I will be doing these videos for, you know, almost each and every team until the World Cup starts. This is one out of probably 20 or 15. You let me know straight off the dome. You understand me? You know, with a little cheat sheet. You feel me to get my mind up? Smoke so much, man. But leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe. I love you all. I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. Serbia. We'll make the group stages there. We'll get out the group stages to go on to the round of 16. Damn, man. 
Imagine if Serbia and you know and Croatia and all these other nations didn't break up and stayed out of Yugoslavia. I'm not saying the government, but like the nation, the country as a football team. Imagine they start studied eleven. Dek, Dezko, you know, Mate, Tadic, Perisic, all these players will be Savic will be playing in the same starting eleven. And yes, these players will probably win championships, man. They will probably win championships. But let me know in the comment section what your expectation for Serbia. Oh, wait! <laughs>